Ahoy, salty dogs! My name is Cap. Welcome back to Project Titan. <laughs> uh, today we're continuing work on this same ship we've been working on. I have a couple of updates to kind of share with you guys. Some things we did on our Twitch uh, live stream this week. Let's see. We worked on the crew quarters, so let's head down to the crew quarters. We take our handy dandy elevator. It's here for us. Can you activate the button, please? Thank you. Um, so we'll just ride the elevator down. Um, I added in the quarters. I did not fix the galley. I think we're going to have to revisit the galley um, at some point. I mean, I, I know we're definitely going to have to. But anyway, let's see what we got here. So this space is a little bit dull. I think we'll do before we decide the ship is finished, finished. We're going to add, like, do a final pass where we throw in some different blocks in places. Like, this is pretty much all dark gray hull here. And and I think it would do to change it up a little bit, at least some. Um, but for now, we're just going to leave it. Somebody in the stream, though, suggested I use jump modules instead of pipes in some places. And I was like, well, in the wiring areas, like, we're trying to do red. So what about the anti-jump? Um, the jump inhibitors, and yes, that looks awesome. I, I think it's a great touch. The little bit of animation really adds to the to the kind of idea of what's going on in there. And uh, so I actually did that in a couple of other places. We'll take a look at that in a second. But if we jump up this ladder, because there are no ladders in StarMade, um, we find ourselves... Oh, I forgot to put in a wall here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to put in a back wall at some point. But we've added in this, like, crew birthing area. Um, there's no ceiling on this yet, uh, so we'll have to do a ceiling, um, but it, it gets the idea across. So I added room for 12 bunks, um, plus we'll have our captain. Oh, looks like there's a ladder missing. Okay, um, but we'll have a, uh, have to have a room for our captain somewhere as well. We still have quite a bit of work to do on this ship, honestly. Um, there's another thing missing. Um, there's a little bit of like an ent entertainment area right here. You got like a couch. I haven't ever seen anybody do a couch like this, but I think it's cool. Um, I like the lights, the way the lights add stuff. I wonder if the couch... Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, I didn't fall very far. I wonder if the couch would look cool in white, since we're doing these corners. Um, or alternatively, once they release the different colored bar lights like this, I'm um, assuming they're going to, we'll swap those out for red ones. They're not actually on? Uh, maybe that... Maybe they are on. Well, they shouldn't be, <laughs> if they are on. They're just there for, like, structure, was the idea. I made like a TV to hang on the wall. It's actually a pretty good sized TV, but it's not huge and star made. Like two meters across is a pretty big TV, right? Um, right, I guess. Got a little planter. I, these kind of look like speakers maybe a little bit, so we use that. Um, for our bunks, I did the three long bunks for proportion's sake. Some, I asked in the stream, like, guys, what is it? Two, two long for bunks or three long for bunks? And, um, a lot of people like the two, a lot of people like the three. What I found was one, uh, one guy specifically said he uses three long beds because in his, like, fleet lore or whatever, um, one of the races is three meters tall, so he needs the three long bunks. I don't really have that going on here, but I figured I like the proportions of the three long bunks better, so that's what I did. Give yourself a little bit of foot room. Um, okay, so here's a bathroom. We'll go look at the bathroom in a second. And then we, over here, are just six more beds. Two, four, eight more beds, I mean. How many beds are there here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Okay, so there's sixteen beds. Man, I cannot count. Okay, <laughs> so we got room for sixteen crew and only twelve people in the life pods. I guess we're leaving somebody behind. So if we jump up here, this gets us into the galley which uh, is exactly the right height, so we're not going to um, adjust this room. We may make it like longer or something, but we're not going to make it any taller or higher or lower or anything. It seems to be perfect as far as that goes. Um, I will uh, revisit this probably. I'll leave the drink machine, though. I freaking love the drink machine. But uh, yeah, so that, so that kind of gives you a way around the ship. Um, if we go into here, here's the bathroom. Now, I want to put out a disclaimer real quick before we walk into this room. I've actually never done a star made bathroom before, so this is new to me. This may look awful um, to you guys, but okay, that said, let's go ahead. The floor is an ugly bathroom tile floor, but I feel like it looks like ugly, ugly, ugly bathroom, so that's okay. That was kind of the point. 
And if we walk in here, we've got sinks and mirrors. Um, this is a, check this out. Can you guess what this is? I'll give you a second to guess. Okay. Uh, time's up. It's a paper towel dispenser. <laughs> like you might see in a public bathroom. Um, I like that. And then there's like a little trash can here. Um, if we go through, I didn't put doors on any of this stuff because privacy is for chumps, I guess, or something. <laughs> I made a urinal. <laughs> um, and there are three showers for 16 people. Um, here's my take at a star made toilet. I don't think I've ever seen some, anybody do toilets like this. But, uh, here's my take at it. So there's, yeah, there it is. Here's a mop bucket hidden in the corner. Um, two stalls for toilets and a urinal. I don't know. It's something. It's something anyway, right? Not too bad. And then, of course, we got our three, our showers in here. And that pretty much recaps what we've done on the stream. Um, I'm gonna touch this up a little bit. Obviously, we need a ceiling. We need a back wall. So I'm gonna touch that up. And, uh, and let's see what I can come up with there. Alright, so we've got wall, we've got ceiling. Let's check it out. I'm just doing a walk, a walk around to look at it. Um, I changed a couple of details in here too, like I, I adjusted where the lights are and I, I decided it would be good to make the, <laughs> to make the bed areas, whoops, I forgot to fix those blocks, to make the bed areas Come on! <laughs> to make the bed areas dark, um, if we're gonna have 16 people and only a handful of crew stations, I'm sure we're gonna do kind of shifts, so somebody at all times is gonna be asleep. So I'll make those areas dark where, where they can sleep in peace. Um, the ceiling turned out okay. I, I think it turned out okay. There's a little bit of a detail to it, um, but not like an overly dramatic one. Um, this back wall, I really had no idea what to do, so I just added in a little bit of color. Yeah, but I, I think that worked out, though. Um, it works it works out okay. And in the ceiling here, I just wanted to add some texture. So I did pipes and, and change the heights and stuff like that. Um, this block actually belongs to a different place in the ship, <laughs> so that has to stay. Um... But yeah, I added some more of these kind of things going on. I don't know. I like it. I like it. Let's see. I don't think I've done... I don't think I did any changes here. Yeah, nothing up here yet. And I don't know if I'm going to get to that. In the bathroom, uh, I didn't make any changes, and we already had the ceiling in place. So there's that. Um, one other thing that I did here. Let me jump into the cockpit. Um, so we can go into build mode and take a look, is I, I decided I wanted to start working on some armor in some places where we already have an external, um, where we already know what's going to go. So I added some armor on. I think this is cool. I think this is a good touch. So um, now obviously this is still work in progress and heavily, like, there's still a lot to do here. But I wrapped the armor around the back of the bridge. Kind of gave it a little bit of a separation there. I like the profile of it. I like that. Um, I added armor in here where the escape pod bays are. Um, so that's coming along pretty well. I also added a launch escape pods button. Now that button has to be primed by uh, a... What's it called? Like the inner ship remote. That's what it's called. So you have to activate an inner ship remote before that button will do anything to prevent you from accidentally launching launching the escape pods. Um, but as it stands right now, the escape pods can't launch <laughs> because their bays, their launch bays are blocked with an armor piece. So that's something we'll have to get to um, eventually. For now, I just wanted to get the armor out, laid out, and, uh, and in a place where we could maybe utilize that, um, that effect. And I think it's looking okay. Um, I'm not sure about the top here, these little spiny things I did. I added in, I've got them up here on top of the bridge, and I really like them as a, as a detail piece, but I don't know if they really fit right there. Like, I almost would want to put turrets there, but I don't want to go crazy with turrets just yet, and, uh, we'd have to design turrets beside, and I'm just not, I'm not to that point yet. Okay, I want to do a little bit more work on this armor, and, uh, and see if we can't come up with something else. Okay, just a little bit of an update here. I actually spent quite a bit of time on this, but it 
it, it, it's not that huge change. You'll notice that I've got these like engine pods coming out of the side. Um, and I, I like the idea. I'm not quite sure on the execution yet. Um, I just kind of did some copy and paste job to get, to get a feel for like, could I make this rounded possibly? Like what's it, how's that going to work? Um, with the, uh, with the wedges or with the slabs. And I like the idea. Um, again, I think the execution needs a little bit of work. So I'm going to kind of adjust that and round it out a little bit better. But I think I, I think this is going somewhere. I think this is something I can make work. It's just in a very, very early stage of development. Um, yeah, as it stands right there. But I do like the idea of the engine pod sticking off the back like that. I've got it set up for three engines, three big engines like this. And then maybe on the bottom we'll add some more smaller engines and maybe on the back of these uh, kind of things we'll add some engines. I don't know yet. Um, I'm not sure yet, but I, I just wanted to get kind of in place an idea for what the engines are going to look like, where they're going to sit. Um, one other thing I'm not quite sure about is, like, if we make big circular engines like this, they kind of don't really work with this cargo pod thing here. So I'm not sure how to cut that part out of the engines just yet. But uh, but it is definitely something we're going to want to do. Um, yeah, so that's what we've got. Let's see. This armor connects in interesting ways, but it's, I'm not, I'm not quite to where I'm ready to finish up the armor yet, though. Um, we still need, like, I gotta cut out the cargo pods, or the skate pods, and uh, once we do that with these engines here, there's not gonna be a lot of room for actual, like, armor there. So what we may do, well, I've got a plan for that. We'll, we'll talk about that in a later episode, probably. Um, I think before I can start doing armor more toward the front, we'll need to finish, to fill out these two, like, kind of side things. Uh, I don't know what to call them. These, like, two side areas. Um, that's where, like, that's where, like, our airlocks are going to be, and uh, we might put some weapon systems in there as well. Um, but I, I don't think I can do armor reliably until we have that, um, until we have that done, so... But I do have some layout um, kind of stuff going on, like around the mess hall, and um, I've linked it all the way around underneath right here. Yeah, I gotta figure out what to do in kind of let me pull out a cursor. What kind of do in kind of like this sort of area that I've blocked off? I wanted it to be like exposed systems, so I need to work on that a little bit further. Uh, but anyway, today's project. Let's move on to today's project. I got a lot of work done, but I, I want to do a specific project with you guys here today. And that is the rest of this uh, kind of engineering area. So I wanted to have in here, we'll go down this little hallway into this opening, and then we'll have a like maintenance hatch way, I guess, for our engines. So I want to do something like a way that we can like look into the engines and perform some maintenance. I want some motion going on in here and some moving parts. So that's what we're going to work on. I'm going to place down a couple of blocks, and then let's do our normal, like, update uh, kind of thing that we like to do. Uh, gravity. Here we go. Oh, I'm in gravity. Okay. Uh, sorry if the audio is really weird this episode. I'm, I've got some new stuff that I'm trying to work some kinks out of. Um, so I got a little bit of an access panel feeling room here. And uh, there's this, like, mechanical-feeling, like, cap uh, on the end of the hallway, and I think that works. Um, it definitely feels like some kind of engineering thing. So I've always thought it would be cool to have uh, engines, like, with pistons in it. Now, pistons aren't really a thing in Star Made, but I think we can emulate that with uh, with some rails. So let's create a docking mechanism here, and I intentionally put it um, a little bit further back Uh, so that hopefully, yeah, so that hopefully we can, we can make this work. I want these pistons. Let's see, is that gonna work? Or should we make them go vertically? I kinda wanted them at a 45 like that, but I think, looking at this, we may be... Okay, I, th I think we can make it work with this. Let's hop on, uh, let's hop into this core we just made and see if we can't get some 
some interesting 45 degree pistons going on. Um, I want to do three different ones, possibly even at three different like timings. Uh, they don't need to extend very far, so honestly, that's that's probably good. <laughs> they don't have to be super crazy or anything. Um, let's do it here. We'll have a little bit more room to play. Yeah, if we do it like that. And then we'll have to wire in some quick logic. So we'll need... Oh, this is actually going to take up quite a bit of space to do it the way I wanted to, but... Okay, whatever, that's that's fine. Let's go ahead and create some docking for these things, too. Um, this is going to be what the piston kind of... piston heads, I guess, um, sit on. So we're going to have to make a docking thing for each of these. Wow, this is going to be a really interesting uh, setup, I think. Okay, so we'll need to create a dock for this one. And we'll just have them all facing the same way. It'll be easier to edit them. Actually, what we might do is just make one. Let's do this. Let's just make one and then copy it over to the other ones. That'll be much easier. Okay. So that's going to be the piston extended. So now let's figure out where uh, the piston head goes, kind of what it looks like. I was thinking, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this yet. I'm thinking here. Is that going to crash into these things? I think it might. So that could that could potentially be a problem. Now this is fully extended, so we want it to be about like this, and then maybe let's just for now use this as our piston head. Let's see, we probably have to get rid of that console. Maybe we'll move it to this block. But I think that'll work. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's see if we can't get the mechanism for this working. Um, it should be pretty simple. We're just gonna need... whoops. What did I do? Okay. We're just gonna need... Um, one rail going this way. One rail going this way. Uh, we're gonna need a... let's do it like this. A button and a button. Let's do it like this. Okay, and then we need a rail going... Yeah, here, and then one here like that, and that should work. Oh, I gotta connect the buttons, of course. Okay, now if we start it... No? Gotcha, okay. I see why it's not gonna work. Because uh, the button is detecting this rail instead of the other one, so we actually will have to do two sets of buttons like this. So this button activates this button, this one activates this button, this activates these, this activates these, and then our rails can go... this one goes here, V, and this one faces this way, and now it should work. Uh, but it seems to get stuck on something going forward. Okay, so let's see what it, we if we can't figure out what it's stuck on. Is it this piece? Is it this one? Yeah, okay, that's what it is. Alright, so that can only be one one thing long. Alright, so there's our first um, kind of piston thing. So I want them to go in sequence, kind of this one, then this one, then this one. Um, so let's hop out of this that's moving and see if we can't make that happen with just a couple of delays. So if we do... let's see, do I have delays on my bar? I don't, so let's grab some delays. And I needed those rails, of course I did. <laughs> okay, so here's the rails. So let's grab those delays real quick. And we can do this button. Uh, also goes into a delay, and this delay 
goes into um, let's put a button here yeah so that gives it a, a little bit of a pulse this button can select these guys and go like this so that way at one delay later we get these to switch okay and then that's pretty easy and we basically just do uh, the same thing for these ones so delay and then this delay goes into a button here this button activates these and it activates uh, that thing so you get one two three and then we can basically do the delay chain along the back as well for going the other direction. Cool. Let's go ahead and uh, copy these over and we'll take a look at it. Gravity. <laughs> it's not quite the room I had in my head when I imagined this, but it's, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> so we made a piston-based engine room. This is awesome. <laughs> Um, after a little bit of detailing and decoration, I got both sides punched in. Um, they work the same way. I uh, uh, We walked through it in the last clip. For me, that was like an hour and a half ago. For you guys, it was like literally 30 seconds or so. Um, but yeah, check it out. I love it. I love it. Uh, the only thing that it doesn't have that I think uh, we need to put in is a fail-safe button so that if the engines quit running, if the pistons quit pumping, then we need to be able to turn them back on. And that should be pretty easy to do. We just need a button linked to two wireless modules that start one or the other buttons on the pistons. So, or maybe both. I don't know. But uh, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you like the video, there's that handy dandy thumbs up button, but uh, again, you know, just like every other time, it's all very optional. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you think this is a cool contraption, you want to use it in your ships, uh, feel free. Let me know about it. I, I want to see what you guys do with this idea and see where you can take it. Um, as always, until next time, stay tuned.